Hey traders, short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at the S&P now. The S&P today starts with a gap up. Therefore, you expect it to move down and close the gap. 80% of the gaps are getting closed. You expect the S&P to move lower. Therefore, you expect the stocks, most of the stocks in the market, to come down with the S&P. You can already see that it touched a new low. Yesterday, we saw the same thing. We saw the S&P starts with a gap down and we expected it to move up. Watch my video from yesterday. So you have opportunities going with the S&P 500. Yesterday, going long once the S&P is moving up and then going short when the S&P reverses because you also expect the reversal point to be at the point where it closes the gap. And that's for another reason. Take a look at the video I made a few days ago uh, about the first and most important rule of the traders. Now, the S&P is weak, it's coming down, you expect it to continue and you look for a stock that is relatively weak. VRT is down 39% and it has a nice technical formation, a breakdown formation here after a short consolidation. So I'm about to short 4,000 shares and it's a combination of the way that this stock is looking, now short 4,000 shares and the S&P coming down at the same time. You want the backwind, you want the S&P to help you push the stock down. Now, this stock is already down 39%. So you expect a gap and go, you expect a continuation, you expect it to come down, but you do not do it without the S&P help. Now, again, when the S&P is expected to come down, you expect your stock that you're shorting to come down with S&P. It already reached my target. I'm up $1,200 watching the S&P for the point where it closed the gap. Now, here you can see that the S&P did in fact move down and close the gap. And at the point where it closes the gap, you expect the institutional traders to stop selling. Again, it's all in my 25 minute video, the one I made a few days ago. Go back to my channel and find this about the most important rule of the traders. At this point, you can see that the S&P starts moving higher. This is the point of reversal, which you expect as well. So I'm about to take my partial in VRT, which is just about to happen. I'm looking for the first sign of a reversal now, and I took my partial. Now you don't immediately take your partial. You look for the first sign of in reversal, exactly like I'm watching now with the S&P. Now, you don't see much about reversal. You probably going to see it a little bit more clear in a few more seconds. Also watch mRNA moving higher right now. It's also very important and expand soon. So now you see the S&P starts moving higher. mRNA immediately responded to that move. And at that point, I'm sure that I have my reversal. I already took my partial in VRT. And now I'm taking my partial also in mRNA and I'm just leaving 100 shares. So you see, it's not only about one trade, it's about all the trades you take. You always watch the S&P direction. I watched it in VRT, decided where to move into a short and where to take my partial, where to move into mRNA short and where to take my mRNA partial. Not only these ones, also ASAN. So same idea, short this one, it's relatively weak and uh, shorted at the point where the S&P was expected to come down, again, move down and close the gap, took my partial at the point where the S&P started moving higher, and you can see immediately that ASAN is also moved higher. So I still have 100 shares hoping for a continued run in ASAN, and here's my result. First, you can look here at SNN. Uh, you can see that it did continue to move lower, but the point where I took my partial was the right point. I do have one loser today, DWAC, but uh, plenty of winners. Um, we, we watched two of them, VRT, mRNA, and SAN. Uh, there was another nice winner in Monday. Anyway, um, all worked with market direction. Always watch the S&P 500. Always take a look at that. It is the most important rule of the traders. And again, watch my video, 25-minute webinar about just that, about the S&P 500 and what you should do when you watch it. Extremely important. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people you like you watch day trading videos. And if you do want to subscribe to this channel, there's a button right here. You can also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And you know, it all happened in just one hour. It may seem to you like it was just a walk in the park, very easy. It is not. Trading and security is extremely hard. What you're seeing here is the works of you know, I am an experienced trader, a very experienced trader. And my results are very untypical. Most traders lose money. 
I do suggest start with a demo account. There's links right here below to a Colmex trading platform, which is the same platform I'm trading here. And you can start with just a demo account, which is for free. So don't lose your hard earned money. Don't take risks you can't afford. Start with a demo account, learn, and then maybe decide to become a trader. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you in my next video.